Hey, what is going on guys? Dylan here with Solo Cuts Landscaping and thank you for tuning in to another video here on the Solo Cuts Landscaping YouTube channel. I appreciate every single one of you guys that stopping by and share stuff with me here on the channel. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be doing an oil change on the Hustler Super Z. This is the 2019 model. This has the Kawasaki FX850V. So let's get right into it. So what I like to do is I like to let the mower itself run for about 30 seconds just to get this oil warmed up a little bit. Um, one thing you want to make sure of is you definitely want to take the key out of the ignition. Just put it right there in your cup holder so that way you are sure not to lose. So now we're going to slide the oil pan underneath the mower and you're going to want to make sure that it is underneath the opening right there so that way all the oil will drip straight down into your oil pan. The nice part about the Hustler Super Z is the fact that the oil change is so convenient. So now that we have our drip pan underneath there, we are going to unscrew this right there with our 10 millimeter socket and that's going to relieve the pressure and the oil should fall straight down into your oil pan. What is also a nice feature about this is it's not something that you unscrew all the way and have to make sure you don't lose it. It hits to a certain point um, to where it stops and to where you don't have to unscrew it all the way. I'm not even sure if it goes all the way unscrewed. You just start releasing it until you see the oil flowing and then we wait a few minutes till it slows down to a drip or completely stops overall. So there's your old filter. There's the new filter. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this oil that's sitting right on top there and we're going to rub it on this seal right there. So what that's going to help do is help it um, just give it a little bit of a little bit of something there, so it doesn't want to just seize on in there um, when we go to screw this back on. Also, another tip that we're going to be doing is on the back side of here we have a silver marker. We're going to write the date and the hours at which the oil was changed so that way we know when we need to change it again. Also what we're going to do is we're going to pre-fill this oil filter. Um, you know you're not going to fill it up all the way to the rim but you're going to let it just soak in some oil. Again this is something that I've always been told to do and I think is just so that way when you do fire up your, your, uh, your mower for the first time after your oil change there's not that delay on oil getting filtered through and oil getting into this filter. There's already some in there um, and you'll be good to go. So, uh, so that's just something that I've always done and has always done well for me. And as you can see there, we took our silver Sharpie and wrote the date and the hours that are on the machine at the time of the oil change. So then we know when we need to change the oil for the next go around. So now we are ready to put the new filter on. Now keep in mind when you are turning this, when you are screwing this on, you're just hand tightening it on because um, as this heats up it will kind of mold into it it will get a little tighter as it heats up so you just want it to be hand snug you don't want it to be on super tight to where it takes something um, you know extravagant to uh, loosen that oil filter up on the next go around so you just want to hand tighten it and once it's hand snug you are good to go okay so our oil is done draining so what we're going to do is we will screw the release valve back in Just like so. Just like that. You can predominantly hand tighten it all the way and then um, just give it a little bit of a turn. And like I said, that is with a 10 millimeter socket. Okay, so as you saw, we unscrewed our dipstick there. That's where we're gonna be pouring the new oil into. After you remove your dipstick, um, go ahead and wipe it down. So that way, when you go to check your oil level after you, we have added our oil, um, you'll be able to see where it lines up on the fill and a full line there. We'll go ahead and stick our funnel right inside there. Add about my quarter to half quart of oil. We're gonna go ahead and add the full quart of this. So now I will go ahead and add about one half to three quarters of a quart and check my oil level so I know exactly how much more I need to add. Okay, 
Okay, so after adding all our oil, we're gonna go in and check the level. Like I said, we had wiped off our stick. There you can see, go focus. Our oil level is sitting right on that full line. So now we know that we have plenty of oil in the machine. So go ahead and screw that back on. That is hand tight. Check here. Oil filter is on hand tight. We have tightened that down. Now that we have our oil in the um, in the oil pan, save the empties from the new oil of your oil change. So that way all the old oil, you can take from the oil pan, dump it back in those old quarts, and you can take them to your local AutoZone, um, O'Reilly, and they will recycle that old oil for you. So uh, don't throw it in the trash can, you know, don't dump it in the yard, whatever. Uh, just do the right thing, take it to your local AutoZone or whatever, and, um, and they'll dispose of the oil properly. So before you fire the mower up, make sure you check all of your uh, everything that we have unplugged essentially or loosened make sure you check those are secure and tight because you don't want to fire this up and there be leaks another thing is make sure that everywhere down in this compartment here is clean and free of any oil that drip make sure underneath you pull this oil pan out and make sure there's nothing on the floor and the reason why you want to do that is that way when we fire this up and let it run for a minute if you see anything on the floor that looks like a drip shut off immediately and find out where that drip is coming from. If there's oil drips everywhere before you fire it up, it's gonna be hard to tell if those were there from when you you know, unscrewed the oil filter, uh, added oil, whatever it may be. Um, so just make sure you have a clean surface up underneath the mower and everything is wiped down so that way you know if there's any drips, you can find out exactly where they are. So now, so now we're gonna grab the key and we're gonna fire up the mower and make sure that there are no leaks. Alrighty folks, so that is it for this video on how to do an oil change on your Hustler Super Z with the FX850V Kawasaki motor. So if this video was helpful for you guys, do me a favor, give it a big thumbs up, drop some comments down below, let me know are there any other videos that you guys would like to see in regards to doing tune-ups, changes on the Hustler Super Z. Because with us, this being our main mower in our company, there's a good chance that we'll be able to uh, bring a video to you guys in regards to some uh, maintenance keeps on this specific mower. So if there is, drop comments down below. Let me know what those are and we'll be sure to try and get them for you as we do them. And if you're not already subscribed, guys, be sure to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop a video. So guys, as always, remember, do what you love, love what you do, but never, no, never stop. Guys, we will see you in the next one. Wow.